Hi everybody, happy Cinco de Mayo. It's May 5th, 2020. Now, the last video I did on these city bees, what we had happen, happened on the cell tower here, they had installed, I believe it was last September, and turned on the 5G. And the reason I, all I can go is, the techs that were working on it told me that they put 5G on and they were getting ready to turn it on. So, anybody that says, oh, it's not 5G, they didn't turn it on, I'm sorry. That's what the tech, the guy that climbed up on that tower, told me. And he carried the stuff up there. We have the light over here. Got the last set of bees. All the bees were flying up into that light. And we had a big pile of them down here on the concrete. So let's go in and see what happened. Let's have a look. I actually haven't been into these hives since last uh, September. They definitely had it propolized up. It's kind of cold. It's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit here today. Uh, really unusual. We should be a lot warmer. Then we're going to have a frost on Saturday, which is about uh, almost a month past the normal. This is heavy and full of honey, which I could actually harvest because we haven't had any insects come in and uh, take anything. That's all capped honey. We need to remove some of this. Now, if we were in a spot where we had uh, a lot of predators or a lot of potentially other, other hives nearby, we would want to be real careful and not put this on the ground. It'll draw, um, it'll draw a couple things. It'll draw skunks. It'll also draw other bees and potentially robber bees. But this time of year isn't normally too bad. There's actually very few bees down inside there. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this off down here. So we got some dead bees there. If we take a peek, some beautiful comb, and we've got just a little remnants. Let's look and see if we can find the old queen. So for some reason, they decided to abscond last year. They all were flying into that light. And it was about the time that's all beautiful comb. So this hive is going to be ready to rip roar. We got a little bit of honey around here. When we put our package in, there was a start of a queen cup, but they didn't do anything with it. Just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Got a little bit of pollen left over. Still got some pollen and some honey. The new bees will be able to utilize that. A few dead bees here. So when we put these new packages in, we're gonna be able to see over the next few weeks just exactly. Now the reason I know, I personally have Verizon and have had Verizon for years. I've had the same cell phone number. I had a cell phone uh, for over 20 years with the same number. This is beautiful comb that the bees will be able to use.
they still definitely had food in the time of year that this happened. Well, the box up above them was completely full of honey. So they definitely, and there was tons, there's still a bunch of pollen in there, but there's a few bees that were in there with their heads stuck in there and their butts sticking out, which sometimes can be starvation. But there's, there's food right there next to them, and it never got that cold when these left. We did have a few, some of these survived, and we saw them flying around in March, just a handful. There was a little bit. Now the new bees I put in, they will come in and clean that up, no problem. There was our queen right there. Get a close up of her. So we still had a queen, but not a ton of bees. Like I said, these, these new bees we install here They'll go in and do any cleanup, uh, so we can anticipate that we're going to see. Can you get a close up and see that the bees, the new bees, will pull those out of there, and so we're going to find some dead bees laying out. Some of those could be, so we got to be a little cautious. If we watch and we see them over in front of the light, then that's a different story than if it's right out here. One more look at this here. That's really, there's a bunch of pollen, tons of honey. This is a beautiful one. This is almost pollen bound, but they're going to need it. So there's enough room in them other, we got eight frames in the middle here, or not, yeah, seven, seven. These three have a lot of honey and pollen. These are just right. So this is going to be a beautiful brood nest ready to go. What I'm going to do is go ahead and leave that honey box off. And I'm going to put the, we're going to take the queen, let's just go ahead and do it. So on these style carriers, there's two little tabs here that we want to come and pop this. These little four snaps, we get this up past that. So there's that. Here's our queen. And I can see her in there right there. She's got a blue dot on her. Very important. Remove on the candy end, remove the cork. Pull the cork out of the candy end. That way the bees will be able to go in and work from both sides. Uh, there is one dead bee in there. One of the attendants, which is very normal. I'm going to make sure and get, I don't want to shake this, but I'm going to, get that attendant that dead attendant okay it's down there that'll help facilitate because I'm going to put this in here like this and the bees inside and from outside will be able to go and work on that to get her out so what we want to do is come in here in the end of the middle we'll pull out one frame here I'm going to go to the next Go. I'm trying to look one, not too much honey. There again, we want to make sure that we keep that end open, that they can always access it. Come in here just below that honey line, and we're going to put this and just push it into the wax. After a few days, we're going to make sure she's released. We're going to pull that cage out of there, and uh, the bees will fix that comb that's been pressed in right now. We're going to push that back over there. Just pushing it into the wax to hold it into place. That hole is readily available. The bees can get up to her. We're gonna put this back on here. Are you able to pause that for a moment? So we've got our queen cage down in there. She's in there. We removed the cork from the candy end. So we put it in there. It's ready. What I'm gonna do is dump the bees in. I'm gonna put the feeder on top and then they'll be in there. Now, I don't know if you can see in that package, it's all in a V up around that cam. You, it's just the way you need to do it. You gotta bang this down, you gotta knock them down, pull the can out, and then we'll come in and we'll open the end, and we'll be ready. Um, we could actually pre-pop this a little bit, because they're all, it's cool, it's, uh,
so we kind of got that ready. We're going to go ahead and knock them down. I'm going to pull the can out. And be ready to run because they're going to come flying out everywhere on us. I don't really know the temperament of these. They seem pretty good, but we're going to be ready. Maybe I should put a suit on. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't. Wear a suit. Wear protection, no problem. So there's that. We're going to go ahead and release them. put this and just slowly carefully I'm gonna go ahead and put this shim on there give them a little extra room and we just just nudge them put it diagonally just real slow put this on there and now the only way in and out is either through that shim or that we're gonna go ahead and put some sugar water this is 25 pound bag of sugar to uh, two gallons of warm water main reason we're doing that is we've actually got a frost forecast for Saturday morning which is going to be the May 9th which is about about almost setting a record we're gonna put this back on there and it's warm enough today there's a few right here the ones that are going to come out here they will they'll find their way into the hive they'll be good so that's it that's the latest installment in the city bees we will follow up over the next couple weeks and see how they're doing are they all going to fly into the light is the 5g affecting them or are they going to be fine we'll see um thanks for watching